Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're doing a twin telepathy three colour Lego dots challenge. And we're going to be showing you how to create your own custom pieces of home room decor. Before we get started, we just want to tell you that this video is a paid partnership with Lego Dots. We're so excited to be sharing this video with you and to be part of the Lego Dots U Dot U campaign. So if you don't know what Lego Dots are, they are an amazing idea based off an innovative tile concept and they're also 2D. Lego Dots includes bracelets, which we're actually wearing right now, <laughs> and some cool new home decor pieces, which we are going to be making today. We love these products because they provide a creative canvas to express yourself on, and they also encourage creativity and self-expression. We both spent this morning customising our own Lego Dots bracelet, and as you can see, there are so many different design options and so many different colours. Our mum and dad also made some bracelets with us this morning, so the U.U .U challenge is definitely a creative activity that you can do with your entire family. And we're also encouraging our friends and the rest of our family to take part in the U.U .U challenge with us and get creative. Talking about family, our dad is actually going to be joining us in this video and he is going yeah. to be judging, which is exciting but scary. Okay, so let's get started. If you haven't seen one of these challenges before, we're going to have a number of different rounds. For each round, our dad will give us options of dot colours and shapes to customise our home decor. And we've got to try and pick the same thing. If we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get no points. And at the end of each round, our dad will come in and tell us who he thinks has been the most creative for that round. He will also try and guess who made each design and why. So we've got our barrier up now. So let's start and get creative. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, so this is the jewelry box and it's in the home decor range. And this is actually so cool because you can always change it. So if you ever change your mind on the design you've made, you can always redo it. So you can constantly channel your creativity and individuality into this. Wow, cool. So the box comes with all the kind of structural pieces and they're really cool colours. It also has all the six different coloured dots, which is so cool. I like these colours so much, they're like my favourite colours. I love the blue. So this challenge is a three colour challenge. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hand all of these six colours back to our dad and then he's gonna give them to us and we're gonna have to blindly pick and hopefully we get the same three colours. Here you go, Dad. Thank Thanks you. Darling. Here you go. Thank you. Three, two, one. Whoa! Ooh! That's so pretty. Okay, so we have two darker, kind of, they're more on the dark side colours. Teal and this is a dark pink. I have this pink on my bracelet. Same. I like this one. I like this one. I think you like this one a bit more as well. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. That didn't help me. <laughs> Just think about the one I like more, because I assumed that would be the one you like more. I'm guessing it's this one. I've gone with this one, and I've gone with this one. Round two. Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> so this round's a lot lighter than the last round. We have a light blue and a light green. I'm already stuck because these are probably two of my favourite colours. I know which one I prefer to pick, but I don't know if you prefer to pick it. So I'm going to go with this one because out of these two, it's, I probably prefer this colour over it, even though I love both the colours. I don't know which one you prefer. I think you like them both. I do. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say you prefer this one. So I'm choosing this one, and I'm choosing this one. On to our third and final colour. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, they're nice. <laughs> they're all, like both my favourite colours. Oh no, this it's is gonna, really It could nice. go both ways. It definitely depends on what we pick. Okay, I think I'm just going to pick the one that's my favourite. I think it could go both ways anyway. So I'm going to pick this colour. And I'm going to pick this colour. 
okay, so we have our three colours now and we have our base and we actually also have our instructions and we're both going to use these to quickly build our bases. It looks really easy to make, so I'm excited. Yeah, it's really simple. And let's go! go. I love building Lego. Same, I love it, it's so fun. Kind of therapeutic. Therapeutic. What step are you on? I'm 10. I'm on step six. I think I'm gonna beat you. Okay, so I finished my jewelry box now and I'm so happy of how it looks. Look how cool that is. It's really cool. And now we're going to move on to customizing them and I'm so excited. So we both have our three colors now and I think we're just gonna empty them out and make a design. There are so many different shapes of these dots. There are corner pieces and there are full on purse. Okay, let's go. How is yours going? I'm having so much fun. Same, mine's going so good, thank you. This whole idea is so good because you can change it and adapt it depending on your mood, your bedroom, yeah. Okay, so I finished my design now. I'm so happy of how it looks. Now we're gonna do the big reveal, which is so cool. I'm so happy with my design I did. I'm excited to see what you did. Three, two, one. So we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Oh, I won. Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> Wait, is that a flower? Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, like mandala. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Like that. You know, you get henna, henna tattoos and it builds out. That was what I was going Whoa. for. Whoa, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Thank it you. Looks really good. I'm actually so proud of it. I'm going to show you all now. Three, two, one. I am so, so proud of this. I got three different colours. I got two tones of blue and one light pink. It looks so good. I love it. It's Thank cool. you. Well, I'm not going to tell you anything about how we did, but okay. that definitely fits your personality so well and that will go really nicely in your room with all your mm. jewelry in. Okay, your my turn. I need to show your eyes. Three. Two, one. We did so good. Wait. The oh butterfly. my goodness, that's a butterfly. That's so creative. Thank you. So I'm gonna show you guys in three, two, one. So this is mine. I did a butterfly and it was really easy to do and I love how it looks. Oh look at this. We did good on the colours as well. Uh, yeah, I was going to say we got the exact same colours. Yeah. Okay, so that is our finished three colour jewellery boxes. I'm so proud of how we both did. Same. But make sure you head over to the community page and comment who you think was more creative with this round. Ruby or Rayleigh's? I think you were actually. So now our dad is here and he is going to say who he thinks is the most creative and like try and guess who's is who's. Which one is the most creative do you think? This one, show the camera, is a butterfly, I think, and I think this one is a flower, is that right? Yeah, you're correct. Okay, good. I think that that one is Rayleigh's, that this one is Ruby's, and the reason I think that... It's how I react to it, and you no, no, is it? Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> the reason I think that is because Rayleigh's lines on the dots are absolutely perfect. They're, com they're all completely aligned vertically and horizontally. <laughs> That's reflective of your kind of meticulous attention to detail. And Ruby, uh, the reason I think this is yours is because it's a butterfly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you would choose something like a butterfly um, or a small kind of animal or yeah. something a bit more figurative. But in terms of creativity, they're both like on a par, obviously. So thank you, Dad. On to round two. Three, two, one. Whoa! <gasps> Picture frame! Look at that! <gasps> Whoa! That looks so cool. I'm definitely putting this in my bedroom. Same. 
And then the design could be like related to the image inside as well. And there's three stages, create, decorate, and use, and redesign. It's a great reusable photo frame idea. So these are the main bricks here, they're like the building foundation work. And then we again have six different color options. My brain is bursting with ideas right now and I'm so excited to do this. Get our colors. Okay, so we're gonna give this to our dad now and then he's gonna come back to us with some color options. So we'll have three colors. Here you go, dad. Thank you very much. Here you go. Thank you. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Ooh. We have very sunshiny yellow and a white. And this has kind of got a cream tinge to it as well. So I already know which one I personally want to pick. And it's because I can't say why, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I also think Rayleigh will pick this one if she is thinking what I'm thinking. Okay. It could definitely go either way. I know Ruby likes both of these colors for different reasons and in different ways. But I'm really hoping she's on like the same wavelength in my brain. So I'm gonna go for this one. So I'm going with this one and I'm picking this one. On to the next color, yay. Three, two, one. So we have a neutral colour which is black and then we have a very contrasting bright colour and it's like a red pink and I always paint my nails this colour. Hmm. So I feel like this could go either way, obviously it relies a lot on what we picked before because there have been um, a neutral colour in the last round as well, but I'm going to go for this one. I can't really say why because it will give it away. She might think it's the less likely option, I might be wrong though. I thought that you would pick this one. But now, because you said that it's the less likely option, I would think, I think it's this one. So I'm going with this one, and I'm going with this one. On to the final colour. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Ooh, these are very pretty. So we have a lilac purple and a really light blue. It's got teal tint. Same colour as my bracelet. I'm thinking through like the background colours and seeing if any of them would match right now. Yeah, that's always important in the last colour. Both of mine match really well. I definitely think this one matches more though. I think that this one goes better with these instead of this one going with that. I think Rayleigh would choose this one and I have a good idea with the things I like the backgrounds. So I'm going with this one and I'm going with this one. Okay, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. And we have our instructions, we have our decoration colors, and we have our main structural Legos. So let's get started in making the base. Already on step four. What step are you on? I am on step four. What step are you on? Step four. We are following the instructions, but obviously once you've built your frames, you can deconstruct it and build whatever you like. And that's one of the things that makes this so great. I just finished, but I noticed something really cool, and there are these pieces that you can use to connect these together, like this. And now you have like a photo frame collage. Okay, so we've got our photo frames now and our three colors, and I think we're just both gonna go for it. I'm very excited. Same, so let's get started. Hey. thing about this and creative artwork is that you work with the colours and kind of produce your piece of art as you're going. Okay so we've both finally finished and I'm so happy with how mine looks. I'm really excited to show all of you and Ruby because I've actually coordinated the three. Let's take the barrow down and we have flipped them over by the way. Yeah. You both feel well. Oh wait we kind of did them the same way. Look at that. Ready? 
rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to show all of you first. Three, two, one. That's what I did. I'm very, very proud of it. I'm trying to make sure Ruby can't see. I'm very proud of it and I'm happy with how I coordinated them. I can't wait to see it and I'll see it. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my Sweet. gosh, it's like a flower. Yeah, thank you. That one's really cute because it's like small. We did well again. We did? Last time we did better. I'm trying to show you a bit more detail. That's what I did for all of them. Like look at that, it looks so beautiful. But this one's quite subtle, but I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. It's really funny because you did a flower last time and you did a flower again. And here's a clue. I did butterfly last time. You did one again. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys in three, two, one. So these are mine. I love them. They're like butterflies. I can say that now. So this is the little one. This is the medium one. And this is the big one. Okay, close your eyes. Three. Two, one. <gasps> Whoa, wait, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm... I should have done that. Wait, come on. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's so pretty. That's so pretty, I love them. I'm glad you like it. And we did so good. You just didn't get the blue and I did. So these are our three colored dots photo frames. Make sure you head over to the community page and comment who you think is more creative for this round. Rubies or rays? I think it's yours again. Okay, so we've put these in the middle now and we're gonna get our dad in to judge who he thinks was more creative for this round and try and guess who's is who's without any um, prior knowledge. Three, two, one. Well, first off, these are actually very similar. I can see there is a slight difference. Uh, I can see the individuality in both of these sets. So that's one set and that's another set. I'm pretty sure I know who's who's uh, because I think they really reflect you both individually. I would say that this one is Ruby's. So this set here, I think is Ruby's. And the reason I think that's Ruby's is because there is a kind of butterfly thing going on on the tops. Of and uh, the second ones, I would say that these are yours, Rayleigh you've sort of individualized it by making it similar to the flower um, design that you used before. Am I right? No. no. What? <laughs> no, we're yeah. kidding, you're right. <laughs> so that's me pranked, but actually um, that's good to know because it, you, it is really clear. Your personalities are really clearly in these pieces. So girls, I think you've done a fantastic job here, both of you. And I think um, they're both really, really creative in their own way. Thank you so much, Dad, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so that is the end of our three color Lego dots home decor challenge. We love being part of the U.U. .U challenge. We've both had so much fun building, creating and customizing our own range of room accessories. I'm really, really excited to put these in my bedroom, especially the photo frames because I'm customizing my wall right now and I feel like they'll look really cool. Also, I think everyone should just take a moment to appreciate how cool the design is of this jewelry box because it opens and it has a whole lap and stuff and it has all the pockets you can put it in so we also hope we've inspired you all to get creative and do your own you dot you challenge okay so that is the end of our video we really hope you enjoyed it we have two shout outs for this video shout out number one goes to olivia russell thank you so much for commenting on the community page on a lot of our videos the second shout out goes to cooking with emily thank you so much for subscribing to us and for always commenting on our community page we can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early squad. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're all staying safe. We love you. Bye. We seem to be having a thunderstorm right now, really. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's very rainy. You, I will love you till the end of day. Are you having a good time? A really Oh. <laughs> I'm really proud of this. I'm actually. Oops. One. Sorry. Okay, so I think you've both done a fantastic job here. And. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. So, girls, I think you've done a. <laughs> oh, here we go. Thank you so much, Dad, for being on our channel. <laughs>